It was Henri Becquerel who, while exposing X-rays, would discover nuclear radiation. Some substances, when placed in sunlight, are fluorescent. They emit visible light. Perhaps they also emit X-rays, proposed Becquerel. To test his hypothesis, Becquerel used photographic plates covered with opaque paper to prevent them from being exposed to sunlight. On the paper, he placed a fluorescent chemical compound. When the photographic plate was developed, it should show no exposure from sunlight because of the opaque paper. So any exposure of the plate should be proof that x-rays had penetrated the paper. For a whole month, Becquerel was unable to find a fluorescent chemical that would expose the photographic plate. Then he tried potassium urinal sulfate. This time, after following his regular procedure, Becquerel found that the photographic plate was slightly exposed. Was the radiation actually coming from the potassium urinal sulfate, or was it coming from somewhere else? He placed an object between the sample and the photographic plate. When the photographic plate was developed, the shape of the object appeared, which seemed to verify Becquerel's hypothesis that x-rays were being produced directly from his fluorescent sample. But one morning the sky became overcast, shortly after he prepared another potassium urinal sulfate experiment. So Becquerel put the experiment away. When the skies remained overcast for several days, an impatient Becquerel decided to develop the plates anyway. To his great surprise, the plates were strongly exposed. He soon realized that the sample had given off some type of radiation without being stimulated to do so by the sunlight. These Becquerel rays were similar to x-rays in their ability to penetrate paper, which was opaque to visible light. They seemed, however, to differ from x-rays, because x-rays could be turned on and off, but not Becquerel rays. Later, Becquerel found that in the potassium urinal sulfate, it was the metal uranium that seemed to be the source of Becquerel rays. The Becquerel rays were not affected by the addition of heat or by treating the uranium compound with chemicals. Becquerel also tested his rays with an electroscope. When an electroscope is charged, each leaf has an excess of the same electrical charge. The leaves repel each other. Normally, Air insulates these leaves, and they discharge only slowly. But Becquerel radiation seemed to change the nature of the air around the electroscope. The air became a conductor, and excess charges from the electroscope leaves were quickly neutralized, thereby discharging the electroscope.